Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to see how can we install MongoDB on Windows 7 operating system. So, this is the just brief tutorial as part of MongoDB tutorial. And here, uh, let me download the MongoDB libraries uh, from online. So here you can click on this Windows 64-bit uh, version and it will take us to the download. So here directly you can save these uh, zip file into your local file system. I have already downloaded this file. Uh, I just shown uh, the process of downloading these libraries. I have already downloaded that. Here you can find uh, one moment let me open that uh, here this is the zip file I just downloaded from the uh, MongoDB site uh, this is the zip file and you need to extract this zip file to any location of your choice to install MongoDB on Windows 7 so here I would like to extract this folder to the C drive that is the thing I am doing here C drive and followed by MongoDB. Let me create a folder in C drive that is MongoDB. So into this folder I am extracting the libraries from that zip file MongoDB and clicking on OK and they will be extracted. So let me go to that extracted directory. C drive MongoDB yeah, here and this is the place actual library is coming to picture and one moment please yes uh, let us cut these libraries and paste them directly into MongoDB directory I mean the folder we just created here and let me delete this folder so this is the place, uh, this is the MongoDB home directory, that is the installation of uh, MongoDB. Just extract the zip file to the location of your own choice, that is enough to install MongoDB. Now you are ready to play with MongoDB, installation is over and you are ready to play with MongoDB. So this is the process and for this what we need to do is, we need to open a command prompt. Uh, click on the start button on your uh, keypad and type cmd so you will get command.exe here like this and give a right click here and click on this run as administrator so go to the path where you have installed your mongodb libraries on your windows operating system in this case I have installed this one I mean mongodb to the C drive mongodb folder that is why I am moving to the directory so C drive mongo hit the tab button it will automatically takes you to the mongodb directory and followed by we need to move into the bin directory because that is the place where actual binary files are available and here let us view them contents in this so here we have got two things. First one is mongod.exe file and mongo.exe. So these two are the executable files which we need to uh, communicate with uh, MongoDB. So as of now, MongoDB is not started. We need to start this one manually. So let us do that one now. For this, you just need to type mongod followed by exe yeah uh, of course exe is not required and uh, anyway just hit the enter key so here we got the error message the reason for this is uh, what happened when we hit that command from the terminal window is uh, by default mongodb places its files i mean data files uh, in a directory called data followed by d directory this is the default uh, directory in case of windows operating system it searches for the highlighted directory data followed by db in c drive if this drive sorry if this directory is not available uh, 
uh, it will throw error an error message one more thing is uh, you can also create this data directory in any other location on your uh, hard drive uh, except uh, any other place except in c drive you can also do that but you need to specify uh, the path of data directory for mongodb using hyphen db path at the time of starting the mongodb server so anyway i will tell that one uh, with that flag after creating the directory uh, in c drive followed by db directory so let, first of all let me create this directory in c drive so that is the thing i am doing now So I just created the required things for MongoDB uh, data repository, I can say, uh, to keep the MongoDB files, data files. Uh, I have done everything required thing. Let me move into MongoDB, followed by bin directory to start the MongoDB server. MongoDB, uh, here I am specifying MongoDB. And uh, if you do doesn't create uh, the data directory for MongoDB, to place its files other than uh, in c drive in c drive you can specify that i mean the data directory using this flag called hyphen db path followed by the location of this path i mean the location of the data directory you have created on your machine so but in this case i have created this data directory to keep data files for mongodb uh, in the default uh, place that is c drive data followed by db directory so i have created that that is the default thing and whenever we are trying to start the, this mongodb server mongodb automatically searches for that data directory in c drive on windows operating system and if you have created some other place other than this place you need to specify that with the help of hyphen sorry hyphen db path hyphen with the help of this flag hyphen db path but i have created in default location i no need to specify that with the help of this path sorry uh, with the help of this flag here i am just starting uh, directly the mongodb server with the help of this command i mean that is executable file of course mongodb uh, i think exe, exe dot one moment please something has gone wrong mongodb.exe sorry that is not mongodb that is mongod so here if you observe the thing this is the thing we need to observe uh, waiting for connections on port number 20 sorry 27017 so if you get this message the last message waiting for connections on port number followed by the number of the port number this is the default port number used by the mongodb server so whenever you install uh, mongodb on any operating system that is whether windows operating system or uh, any linux operating system the default port number used by mongodb is 27017 and if you get this message in case of windows operating system uh, it indicate it indicates that mongodb server has been started successfully and it is ready to provide service so the server has been started in this case and let us try to communicate with the mongodb so here you can communicate with mongodb in two ways so first approach is using mongo shell so this is a just javascript shell, shell. This is just a JavaScript shell which you can play with uh, uh, JavaScript kind of notations. This is the thing we are going to see now uh, just to check whether the server is running or not and it is providing the service or not. And the second approach is uh, the second way of communicating with MongoDB is uh, using Java driver and different drivers available for different programming languages uh, to write uh, code in respect to programming language and to provide service i mean to exchange data between mongodb and programming language we need this uh, driver 
and it is available for different languages so as a java programmer here i am concentrating on on java driver so this is the second thing so first of all let us experiment with this mongo shell so for this you need to open a command prompt so here i am opening a command prompt just like a normal command prompt not an administrator so you can run uh, mongo shell uh, you can enter into the mongo, mongo shell first of all you need to enter into this particular folder that is mongo db followed by bin and here you have got this mongo and just hit this mongo and that is enough to enter into the mongo shell and if you want to avoid this one what is that every time uh, moving into this particular location you can set the environment variables saying uh, mongodb underscore home and provide the name the complete path that is c drive mongodb slash bin so just setting up environment variable is enough to start the things uh, automatically i'm entering into the mongo shell yes mongo hit the enter key so this time i have this is the version and entered into the mongo shell so this is the uh, mongo shell and here you can play with the mongo shell and to uh, just i'm giving a few commands uh, and its functionalities so here just to know what database you have connected you have got a command called db so this gives us to the database which we have connected currently so that is the, the sorry this is the test database we have connected and here if you want to create any database uh, in mongodb which is similar to a database concept creating a database in any rdbms or uh, databases uh, like mysql or uh, oracle so you can also create a database just like that database in rdbms using a command called create database followed by the name of the database you would like to create otherwise what one more option is you just use the command called use 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 followed by the database name here i am giving my db as database name and the database will be created for us what happens internally when we see here uh, after execution of this command we have got this feedback saying switch to database called mydb what happened and how this use command uh, internally works is by default whenever we are trying to use this uh, command called use to move to a particular database use command internally searches for the database whatever the database name here we have given uh, it searches for the database if the, da the database is exist already uh, it will move to the database directly or else it will create a new database with the name i mean if the database doesn't exist the name with the name we have given it will create or else it will directly take us to the database so this is the uh, database we have connected and here you can just create a collection of course we no need to create we just at the time of while inserting data i can say while inserting uh, data into mongodb in mongodb terminology i can say while inserting documents into mongodb uh, you can specify the collection name itself if the collection already exists the data will be appended or else a new collection will be created with the name you have given so we will discuss all those commands at the time of uh, uh, discussing the mongodb uh, using the shell the, i mean the mongo shell as part of that concept we can see all those things anyway mongodb is uh, ready to serve here and you can play with the mongodb so this is the uh, tutorial i would like to say and we will continue uh, in next videos